it feels like I'm not even in a frame right now, but I am. It's weird. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my May TBR, but I've decided to mix it up. As you can see, I've wrapped up all these books. I went for this kind of nice gingham style, which has like some strawberries on. I just thought it looked really pretty and I did wear a dress that was pink to correspond. I know, look at me. But yeah, so I have a wheel spinner. I have done it this way. We've got all the numbers on. Yes, I don't have my case on my uh, iPad. I know, how risky of me. Um, but yeah, I have 20 books wrapped up, as you can literally see by the number 20. And I literally stuck like the numbers on with like little stickers because I thought, I thought it would show up a bit better. Um, but yeah, so I have 20 books um, and let's kind of go. Can you see that? Number 16. Nice. Number 16. Now I'd like to point out, I don't have record of what each number is. I, yeah, I literally have no clue. The front is facing you. So again, I'm going to do the thing that everyone does where you guys will see what it is first. It feels so bad to rip this up. Don't worry, I can't even see anything yet. Um, But it feels so bad to rip this up when I would literally pretty much Apart from like six of them, I wrapped them all up today. Um, but yeah. A good girl's guide to murder. I, yeah, by Holly Jackson. I actually attempted it a couple of years back, I think. I attempted to read this and I literally got 16 pages in. Um, so first off, let's remove that dog ear. Let's re-attempt to um, read this. I know that so many people love this. I do own the second book in the series. I also own The Reappearance of Rachel Price and I also own Five Survive and I still haven't read any of her books. This is our first book. I'm going to be picking six. I forgot to say that. Um, I know last month I picked, I think it was eight. Did I pick eight? Or did I go until I reached a prompt? I think I did that. Um, but yeah, there is book number one. Let's make space for the pile on my bed and let's get back to this. Eight. Number eight. So we have just on frame for you guys. Oh. Yeah, literally same principle. But yeah. I know what it is and I've just seen the corner. I know the book colouring, it's done and dusted. Knew it! I freaking knew it. I just, I saw the clap. I literally saw the, as you can see, I saw that bit and I was like, done and dusted. So we have a romance. This is a cowboy romance. Um, It's a brother's best friend and obviously therefore and also obviously therefore best friend's sister nice little romance yeah so currently we have like a ya thriller and also a romance that's the thing the selection in here is like a mixed range of stuff seventeen nice back down here oh we've got a thicker book yeah we have a thicker book this could be oh should we make a guess this could be the first book in the lucy sport things we never got over this could be that book what else could it be there's a couple of books where it's thicker like where they were thicker could it also be um reckless I think the thickness is right. Let's just find out. Things we hide from the light by Lucy Score. <laughs> I love how it ended up being the first book that I guessed was the book that it was. Um, yeah, this is the first book in the Knock'em Out series. Um, I own all three books. Um, so there's a potential that we could get through all three this month. I doubt it. Um... But I haven't got as much on this month, so it should be a little bit more reading. This is a, 
yeah so this book has it's like a, from the sounds of it, it's like a grumpy sunshine and basically the Naomi comes into town and gets left with her niece she didn't know she had um and she's also running away from and I think she's a runaway bride as well I don't know too much about it but I've also heard good things so we have three so far two romance and a murder mystery I have got fantasy in there as well number one oh I don't know what it is it's on the medium side of things do we try and guess? Eh, I can't guess because I can't fully. Oh, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. So we have a cozy fantasy with like a very small subplot of romance. Um, Emily Wilde is literally creating an encyclopedia of fairies and she goes to this small play, small village um, to find out about this like rarer, lesser known form of fairy. Um, and yeah, her work colleague, her rival. Um, yeah, so nice cosy fantasy. I've been looking forward to get to this. Um, yeah, that's the good thing about this. I've chosen books that I really want to get to and so I'm more likely to get to them. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's number four. I do have a book in here that I really want. Um, sixteen. I love how we've had like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Um, yeah, I can't tell what this book is. The Ballad of Never After. Um not yeah so i originally said i wasn't going to read this book um because originally um the release date for the curse of true love wasn't until next april but then it's now this june um so yeah we have another we have another fantasy it's like a fantasy romance we're getting a good mix here these are all different books. I love that. Um, yeah. And this is the second book following Evangeline Fox um, and Jack's The Prince of Hearts. Um, and trying to find her happily ever after. I'm not going to explain too much. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I have seen Rachel find this one so much better than the first one. Like, she enjoyed it even more. So maybe I will, hopefully I'll enjoy it a little bit more final book don't tell me that's like 14 oh my god that is actually 14 i love that for me um 14 was down here you're joking we've literally had 14 15 16 17 like what is going on that is so weird so freaking weird yeah, I can't tell which book this is at all. Um, so let's just put your book open and find out. Oh. The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. We have another fantasy. This is the first book in the Prison Healer series. I don't actually know. Oh, yeah. So, so a prisoner is has hope of staying alive oh and she takes the place of the queen and competes for the queen and if she succeeds they both live kind of thing um yeah i didn't actually know too much about this um but yeah that's another fantasy so we have what two, we have like a thriller we have two romances we have like a cozy fantasy with very small small element of romance another romantice and a fantasy i think it's just a fantasy i don't think it's romantice it doesn't mention it oh okay maybe there is a little bit of a romance in here oh and it's ya fantasy so yay um but yeah that is the six books that we have for this month um yeah six books and Obviously, I've wanted to get to all of them. 
some of them I've wanted to get to a little bit more. So this one wasn't as high on my priority list. Um, but it was kind of like a trying to find like books where I was like, yeah, I definitely want to read this. And I thought if I do it all paperbacks, I won't be able to tell what stuff is. Because I, I do have some hardbacks, but not as many. Um, but yeah, so we have The Prison Healer, The Ballad of Never After, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, Thing... Things We Never Got Over, Done and Dusted, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And that is our six. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, next month I'll continue on with these books. Um, I won't wrap up anymore. We'll just kind of go through them. I might only do like next month as like the last month. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.